Hey guys, so I just wanted to cover some details real quick. The name brand of the phone we used, the amount that we got for our kit, as well as some things to consider before you, you know, choose spray foam, your other options, and what to consider from a safety standpoint. So this is a closed cell foam. Um, it's a little different from your open cell foam that's normally sprayed in houses. Those are the ones that normally expand up to 10 plus inches. This will expand to about an inch, two inch, depending on the pass that you put down. Um, it's also a lot more durable. It's a water resistant barrier. It helps with soundproofing. So we felt that spray phone wrapped up all these different steps that it would normally take to insulate your van properly in one product. So you have your foam at green kits, you have other eBay kits, you have Amazon kits, as well as your local Lowe's or Home Depot. We went with a handy foam kit from eBay. We got 600 board feet with that. So that is that has been absolutely plenty to do our 3500 extended van. Uh, we actually had some left over we didn't use. So if you're not totally sure about what size of a kit that you need, just know that 400 we probably could have done with this van, but the 600 definitely gave me the confidence to cover every area that we needed to. We didn't do everything in spray foam. We chose to do a few different areas in fiberglass. It was where you had a lot of electronics that we may have to potentially get back to, to change and fix things or replace stuff. And I didn't want all this covered up in spray foam because it does seal in pretty hard. Um, also any areas that we potentially maybe wanted windows later, we didn't spray those. The price of our kit was about $615 from eBay. It was free shipping. Um, this is a pretty good cost. I figured budget wise, it was the best option as well as it had a proven test record of the same R value and in some cases a higher R value than some of your more expensive kits. Some things to consider before choosing spray foam as the way of insulating your van versus some of your other options is it's temperature temperature controlled when you first to go spray it so you need to be within a certain range of temperature depending on the product of the brand you're getting. Um, ours was between I believe 75 and 80 degrees so not only did the walls of the van need to be within that optimal temperature but also the products themselves so we had to actually warm them in some warm water before we went about spraying the van. Also another thing to consider is these gases that come off while you're spraying you need to be wearing a P100 level mask. I, we used a 3M I think it's an acid gas mask so you can pick these up for roughly 50 or 60 dollars from Lowe's, but that is highly important. This is some very dangerous chemicals that you're messing with, so please do your own research on that and be safe about it. We gave ours up to 24 hours to cure and let any off gases out, so we left some windows cracked and some doors open, let all the gases and the weird smell evaporate, and honestly, it was after that we didn't it didn't leave like a weird odor or anything, and everything's super hard to the touch. So far, we've had the insulation in for about three months now, so we've had a few weekend trips that we've actually been able to test the van and see if it's made a difference so far. We have noticed 
noticed huge improvements from a sound standpoint. So when we're driving down the road, you don't hear as many loud like banging or pinging noises from rocks hitting the bottom of the wheel well and stuff. You do hear a lot of rain, so if, there, if there's a lot of water on the roads, you do hear the rain hitting the wheel wells. I wish I would have coated those a little bit more. But other than that, it's really helped a lot from the sound standpoint. And from a heat standpoint and a cool standpoint, in extreme temperatures, it's really hard to do anything about. But in the early mornings and the late evenings, it does help keep the van cooler longer and keep the heat in a little bit longer. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below so that it will anyone else that's come across this video it will help them out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.